What is up, YouTube? So Beer Kicks just posted this photo of Westbrook. And if we take a look at his sneakers, you'll see that it is the Converse X Golf Lefleur's Tyler the Creators. And I've seen this pair in one of the websites here in the Philippines and I really wanted to check them out because they said that they were authentic and all their pairs were on discount. So yeah, let's check their site now. Currently they're on sale, so yeah. Let's search for the pair. The pair should be Golf Le Fleurs. You'll see. I've I've searched that before because I've been I've been waiting for the time to buy it actually. Search. There's one here. And there you go! That's the Converse in collaboration with Golf Le Fleur and this is one of the creations of Tyler the Creator. And yeah, currently it's sold out. You see that all those sizes are sold out. I'm a size 9.5 to 10 but since it's a Converse and Converse sneakers usually run long. So I'm just going with a size 9.5. Now I ordered this on Wednesday. And I was surprised that they actually delivered two days later. They actually got delivered here in the house two two days later. And it was and it was the quickest among you know all my experiences. So yeah, this is a local concept store here in the Philippines. And as you can see here about us, it says shelflife.ph. I mean I don't see no, it's just a shelf life pH. It's a new sneaker concept space showcasing an assortment of pro of pinnacle tier archive products and past collections from Nike, Adidas Originals, Vans, Vault, New Balance, and more. They carry a lot of sneakers. And look at this. They have a Nike Cloud Air Max 97 here. And it's below $100. Wow. So yeah, let's get to the unboxing. The Converse X Golf Refer Quilted Velvet Collection released May last year. And it and this collection is also in collaboration with Tyler the Creator. The pair that I have is the only high top among the three sneakers, among the three colorways in that collection. The other two were One Star Oxus with red and the other color is a goldish brown color. But Mine is a Chuck High 70 All-Star, which is a high top and your usual Converse. All of their uppers were made from the same material, but of course it's dyed different colors. And their midsoles and their outsoles are all the same with a white dominant midsole and outsole. But their outsoles have this special design, it's the flower logo of Golf Fleurs. So here's the box and you see the logos here on top, Golf Refleurs and Converse. Now, at, now the top is pink but most of the box is actually black. So when we open this up, you'll see, you'll be greeted with this dust bag. It's made from mesh. Again, the same brand on the middle. It has it has that pink laces to, you know, tighten this thing up. And yeah, it's a nice looking bag. I really love it. Now on, now you guys can see that purple there. Those are not yet the sneakers. These are actually extra laces. It was actually tied to the sneaker, but I already removed it because I've already worn it once outside for picture taking. So yeah, those are the extra laces. And here is the sneaker, look at that. You'll see that the upper is dominantly purple with that material there. I'm not sure what it is called. And everything else looks like a normal Converse high top. But on the outsole, there's the flower logo of Golf Fleurs. You'll still see that patching here on the medial side of the chocks. And it comes with white laces here. The tongue tab, 
if you guys can see, is also that same branding of the two, their collaboration together. Yeah, it's, it's a really, really nice shoe. I love the quality on this thing. I mean, I'm sure it's gonna be shedding some threads at some point, but yeah, while it's still like, it's really, really soft. You know, the usual, the usual Converse is actually, you know, made of canvas and it has that, you know, hard material there. But this one's actually really, really soft. Even the insole, even, even inside is actually a little soft, although I just think it's the same canvas material there inside. What's really interesting about this one, if you, are, if you guys are used to like a very, very hard, hard to wear Converse, because you know, the bottoms are really hard, are really, are really stiff. This thing comes with this insole. And I thought it was all the way through, but yeah, you, can, you guys can see that strip here. This thing gives a bit more cushioning and I actually liked it. It's not the same experience like your normal, like your regular chucks. It's somewhat soft and it's somewhat you know, more comfortable to wear. But that's not all, that's only the right pair. The left pair has still that same star, all star here on the medial side. But on the lateral side, you'll see the Golf Le Fleur logo again, and it gives a more decent touch. So yeah, you still see that flowers here at the bottom and still that same white laces. At some point, I'm gonna double lace it. I'm gonna combine the white with this gold, I mean, not gold, this purple laces, so that, you know, it becomes somewhat more unique, at least for me. So yeah, that's pretty much it. You guys should know what a usual Chuck Taylor is. As I said earlier in the video, I bought this pair because I saw Westbrook having wearing it. And I know it's like one of those hype pairs, but it didn't really caught on. And I know to some sneakerheads, these are still really, really rare. And these are still pretty much, you know, still hype actually. The last time I checked StockX, my size were, was selling about around $200 and I got this below 100. And of course I'm not selling this, selling this there because there's a lot of fees and somehow StockX is not accepting my my address that's why i can't really sell it sell something there although if given the chance i might actually sell this for a decent profit so that's it for this sneaker but we but this video isn't over yet we are going back to the website and we are checking them out to see what sneakers they have left in their website and see you know what good deals we can actually purchase from them. I actually posted a photo of me wearing this pair in a Facebook group of sneakerheads and I told them where to get it and probably that drove the sale of Shelf Life and that's why this pair is already sold out in their website. Yeah, because the last time I checked the sizes were all available except for the size 11s. If we check out their new arrivals, you have first the first thing that's gonna be greeting you is this 4D runner mid. It's an Adidas consortium, but it's still expensive. So I really want that, but yeah, we're not purchasing that at that price. You have the crazy boost you wears here. 996, wow. You have the 997H, which already sold on. Oh no, I did not see this. Oh, look at this. This is the, I believe this is the Asia exclusive. Damn, 7,200 only. Wow. Size 10, it's still available. Oh my goodness. Isn't this the Asia exclusive? I'm probably mistaken. Plus there's the like yellowing here, which I'm not sure if it's supposed to be there. Okay, let's search for it. UB19 Consortium. Consortium. Asia exclusive. 
Carlo Oakley, one of my, you know, inspirations to start a YouTube channel. Oh yeah, it's supposed to be yellow. If that price goes down, I'm, I'll prob if this price goes down more, I'll probably purchase one. I'm not sure. So, yeah. I'm looking forward for the sneaker. <laughs>